Hello, I'm Paul Webb, owner and proprietor of three restaurants in Hastings and Rye in East Sussex and tutor at Webb's Cookery School in Rye. And today I'm going to show you a really useful recipe. Right, I'm going to show you how to make a roast pork belly. Now here is our lovely belly, nice big piece of meat here. And all we're going to do is cut away the ribs here and this part of the meat we'll use for something else because there's quite a lot of fat in there. But what's so nice about this meat is the lovely layers of fat. And we're going to slow cook this meat overnight, I would suggest, for about 12 hours at about 90 degrees Celsius. And the, the method of cooking we're going to use is to confit. And it's where we basically slow cook in fat, very, very slowly. And then after the 12 hour period is gone, we gently take the meat out of the fat and we press it between two trays so the bottom of it is nice and flat. And then we're literally gonna cut the slab off it and then re-roast it and we get fantastic crispy crackling and it's gorgeous because the meat just falls apart underneath the crackling. Right, first thing we're going to do is just remove the ribs here. They'll be grand for another dish. So just literally shave away. And whenever you're doing butchery or you're doing fish filleting, you always cut into the bone. We don't want to leave any meat that we don't need to on the bones there. So just gently shave that away. And I'm actually using a filleting knife here, so it's a nice soft pliable blade and I can exert a little bit of pressure and just shave the meat away there. So there's our ribs removed. Now we've got this lovely belly here, look. And what we're going to do today is we're going to cut a nice slab off there like that. And this is why it's so nice. We've got these lovely layers of fat that moisten the meat as it cooks. And what we're going to do is just rub that with some sea salt. And over here, I've got, you need quite a large pan for this. I've got some uh, duck fat we've rendered down, but you could just buy a lard, a, beef, a pork, pork or beef drip it in to cook that into. And we're gonna put our pork belly in there. So it must be completely submersed in the fat. I'm gonna put one star of anise in there as well, just to perfume the oil, the fat while it's cooking. And I've got a small amount of Szechuan peppercorns. So I'm gonna wrap some cling film over the top because it's very important that we don't have any loss of moisture and the meat becomes too dry. And then some foil tight on the top of that. Now that is going to go in the oven, as I said earlier, for about 12 hours at 90 degrees Celsius. Right, now yesterday I prepared another pork belly. It's exactly the same as we've just demonstrated now. And what you do is you take it out of the oil, my, my suggestion is to let the fat cool very slightly because the meat is very delicate. And once the fat starts to settle a little bit, just at room temperature, carefully remove the pork belly, lay it onto some cling film or baking parchment, put the belly on top, some more paper on there, and then weight it down and try and, if you've got a big enough fridge, try and put it in the fridge, but weight it down with some heavy cans or something like that. But what you do need to have, the skin must be on the bottom so the skin's nice and flat because when we re-roast it, it's going to be served skin side up and you need the top to be nice and level. So what we've got here, this is our pork belly that was cooked for 12 hours. And this is what you end up with. So you see it's shrunk very slightly and where we've pressed it, it's lovely and flat. And what we're going to do now is just trim this up now I've got a hot pan here, I'm just going to put a little oil in there. 
And this is, this is a cast iron pan, but if you've got a Teflon pan, I suggest you use that because the, it's a little bit sticky here and it will stick to the pan. So make sure the pan's nice and hot. In goes our pork belly. And we're just gonna leave it on there for about one minute, just so that that skin crisps up slightly and comes away from the pan. And then we're gonna re-roast this at about 200 degrees Celsius for approximately 18, 20 minutes. Right, here's our lovely pork belly. So this has had 20 minutes in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius. And can you see there's a fair amount of the fat, you know, the fat that we cooked it in earlier has come out now. So what we're going to do is remove that from the pan and just gently turn that over. So look how nice that looks. See this look? So nice and crackly. I've just got a little bit of blanched pak choy seasoned up here, so we're just gonna put that on there. And with some stock, I've just made a reduction of like an apple juice and some brown poultry stock here and we're just going to drizzle a little bit of that over and that is how to make roast pork belly.